All right, welcome back to round two of Have a Nice Death as I attempt to beat the game. First episode, first attempt on the channel didn't go that great. So I think we're going to try and avoid toxic food processing. Because <laughs> much like Taco Bell, it betrayed me. I love the elevator music. I love it. I could listen to the elevator music all day and repeat, probably. All right. So some weird shit that's been going down IRL. Uh, the Queen of England fucking died. Can you believe that shit? I didn't think she'd ever die. I honestly, part of me honestly thought she might have been some kind of like immortal vampire. Like, draining the blood of her relatives to stay alive. Because you know they gotta keep it in the family. Since she married her cousin? I think that's the thing. She married her cousin. I could be wrong about that entirely, don't quote me on that. Uh, money, 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 money. And prison, 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 prison. I have a really bad habit of like reading really just like weird shit news articles. And I don't mean weird shit as in like they were shit. Just like the article itself is a is just like about some weird shit. I saw an article where this dude got his arm bit off by an alligator and then survived up to four fucking days in the swamp after it happened. Like, you gotta be made of fucking... Something... Something a little more than human than... To survive in the wild after getting your arm bit off by a fucking gator. And then I read another article where this kid was playing a fucking... Like, some IT robot in a chess tournament or a chess match or something. And when the kid won, like the kid beat the uh, the robot. First of all, that's a win for humanity over Skynet. Thank you very much. But here's the win for Skynet. The fucking chess robot apparently broke the kid's fucking finger. Now I don't know. You know, the kid might have flipped the chess machine off and gave it the bird, and he got you know. If the kid ended up giving the chess machine the bird, then that chess machine, by all rights, you know, is kind of in the right to break that kid's bird finger for flipping him off. I'm all team chess machine if that kid turned out to be a little shit, but there's no way to confirm nor deny that. All we know is that Skynet is still a possibility. And they will make a bunch of robots that will try to break our fingers. Money. Oh wow, that was actually kind of badass. Oh wow, that made it not badass. Heal me, baby. Where are we going next? I don't feel like fighting a sub boss right now. I'm really just trying to do this as like clean as possible I guess and like fighting sub bosses along the way is just for people that enjoy the challenge of which this game is already a challenge for me in itself so why the fuck would I want to make it harder on myself than I already do by pushing circle instead of the fucking trigger to dodge <laughs> Boss room. Or sub boss room. Psych! Ah, oh, I didn't hit all of them. Damn. Ah, uh, you. Yo, that slamming shit is satisfying. Oh, yeah. That's fucking satisfying. Oh? The Arashikunai. 
Eh, I'll take it. It's better than not having a secondary weapon. Whoa! And it's a good stun. Surprisingly. You're not gonna hawk a fire loogie on me, are you? Why does that sound- Aw, oh, you fucking paper plane throwing piece of shit book. Now no one will ever read you. Stop trying to hawk your fire loogie on me. Could you imagine that though? Like, a an actual loogie that was so acidic that it was just like, flammable? Like imagine your saliva consisting of like 151 Bacardi rum. Damn, that would suck to have to taste that all the fucking time though. But you could literally just spit on stuff and light it on fire. Would be kind of cool. Be pretty cool at parties. Nice party trick. Uh, and fuck this. I like that they updated it along the way to spawn in more. Because initially it used to just be the one wave, and if you killed all the ones that immediately spawned in the room, then the room was open again. But now they actually have like multiple waves inside. And we got Shockwave again as our third one. That's crazy. Oh no! You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be fucking kidding me. No. Let me back up. Yes. Heal him. I was not about to just let that go to waste. Uh, you shit. Bald. I have. I don't have any curses yet or perks. So re-rolling department would be pointless. At least at this point, to me. That is just... Every attack in this game with this little guy with little death here is just stupid satisfying. Oof. Oof. I actually kind of... Ooh, a secret that I can't get into because I don't have a fucking blue orb. Oh, I actually was able to break that one. All the other ones I tried to break so in the last episode did not break quite as well. I just talked it up to a bugger or a glitch in the game, but I could just be stupid. Oh, I'm not gonna go in that room. That would be really stupid. Do I have to, like, dash over there, I guess? Wow. Bring it on. Uh-oh. Got a little too cocky there. Oh, a little too penisy. Why does this guy have so much fucking health? Thank you. I mean, I know he's the big guy and everything, but usually I can take him down a lot quicker. I should have just used my ultimate. I was just trying to show off and not use it. Obviously, I suck ass at showing off. Hopefully this time I can actually make it to the fucking department the control room where I can upgrade the fucking side. Priz, I... Mm. Do I want a... Do I want a pyramid or do I want an adorable ghost face? Adorable ghost face. I already have a pyramid on me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
I think the most recent update to this game so far was the toxic food floor. Uh, so I'm really hoping they have the next one soon so we can see what it is. Because I enjoy the toxic food floor, but I actually just haven't played it enough to be good at it yet. It's kind of the thing in roguelike games. You play one thing long enough, you kind of memorize it and get good at it, you know? And I got a reroll. That's cool. Got a free reroll out of it, and I didn't even have to go to the reroll department. What is that? Oh, it filled up my ultimate. Nice. I wish you gained, like, experience for killing these guys. Like, you gain... That's the one thing I think I would love they added to this game is an overall level. Periodically heal one health. Scythe deals one damage. Um, fucking yes, please. Now I have very... Very minimal health regeneration, but it's better than not having that shit at all. I don't know why, but someone on my newsfeed on Fuckbook uh, shared it, and I don't even remember who it was, but the post was like this clip of these two gay dudes uh, on their like doorstep yelling at this chick for standing in their like garden I think and <laughs> they're arguing over like what the flower is and the dude's just like well I may not know flowers but I know a bitch when I see one Ooh, hello fire arrow you will replace the Arashikura. Anyway, I couldn't figure out what the clip was from. Like, it was so random that I, I don't know why I laughed at it as hard as I did. Like, it was funny, but I had to figure out, like, what it was from. So I did some digging, and it's literally from an old movie called Gay Deceivers from 1969. I cannot make that shit up. It is too fucking funny. Alright, Brad. Here we are. Back again. I am not gonna get my ass kicked by you this time. Because I remember what the fucking dodge button is, bitch. And I have this now. Fucking fire arrows. And a shock. I wonder if I can get through this whole thing without getting hit. Let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. Let's try to go through this whole thing without taking a single bit of damage. Alright, so far so good. That would have been way cooler if he was still on the ground and it actually hit him a little bit more. Oh my god, I think we're about to do it. I would not jinx myself. Come on. 
Booyah! And that's what I was talking about before, by you play something enough, you memorize it, you get good at it. Whew, does not mean that I was not trying very hard to get not hit at all. What did we win? What did we win? 20 max health, and... Increases duration of bleed by 100%, reduces spells mana cost by 10, and gain 5% of chance of dealing pierce damage. Reducing cost by 10. I have fire arrow and shockwave, so that's probably the best shit I could possibly ask for right there. On to the next floor. Which... I'm not picking the fucking toxic food plant this time. I don't know why it mauled me like it did. Oh, what? That's very fucking cool of you, Mr. Fridge. Holy shit, I don't even have to spend a single bit of my money to get Anima out of the fountain. Ugh. Ugh, that actually physically just made me twitch. Alright, so no toxic food this time. Let's try industrial pollution department. Let's see how this goes. I don't know why, but that little corpse pointing in the direction I need to go kind of reminds me of, like, Morty from Rick and Morty, and I don't know why. I have no idea what the connection is whatsoever. Okay, just gonna put me in a lock me in a fucking. Oh, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here! No thanks. I'm not taking too, too much damage this time. Hey, I got my ultimate back. Yeah. I really hope I get to go to the fucking control room soon. Hazardous floor or vitamin mana department. Something is telling me that the hazardous floor is more rewarding than the fighter man at apartment, though. And I don't even know why. Fuck it. Hazardous floor. Shock value. We're going for it.